The crypto market likes two things, volatility and blockchain. Now, there's something that humans like, and that, the comeback story, and that brings us to Luna Classic. Luna Classic has the potential to be one of the biggest recovery stories of all time. We've seen the failure of FTX. We've seen the collapse of Celsius. Luna Classic fell, and then it started to come back. It continued to move. It's doing what we wanted it to do. It's taking a while, but that's because we're not in the bull run. When we get into the bull run, retail comes back. When retail comes back, it becomes upon us to find those investors, to make them uh, aware of what this ecosystem brings. And then once Bitcoin does whatever its big move is, whatever's programmed in, if you will, once that happens, then the money comes down. Luna Classic will then explode. What do I predict? I'm predicting about 100x at this point. Now, that's not the number that I originally gave you. That is subject to interpretation, and I'm going to show you why it's subject to interpretation. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. We'll keep providing it to you. But first up, uh, let's talk news. There's no real news of which we can speak of. So you know, I'm just going to put this up here in the corner and no new articles, anything like that. However, uh, we've got uh, the Lunk $1 fast track recovery via fair transaction tax being discussed over on Commonwealth. We've got, uh, and some of this is, by, by the way, come up for vote now. Uh, and I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, then we've got the USTC lockup, bad idea, um, a discussion about that. And then that leads us to what is being uh, voted on right now. Rules to prevent a double uh, network validating. So, um, you know, people are a little bit divided about this right now. The reason they're divided on it is pretty simple. Uh, people don't like either the wording of it or they want to continue their, uh, their whatever you might call it. Uh, Jesus is Lord having two reality. Uh, centralization, I suppose. They want to continue to centralize the, the project so that they're in control of it and they can control it. Now, remember, I told you uh, famously a while back that I did it my food guys are bought and paid for by Terraform Labs. Terraform Labs' ultimate goal, in my opinion, would be the collapse of Luna so that all of those investors, Luna investors, in fact, anybody who's holding early on has a bunch of Luna tokens already. Like I, I got mine sitting there for stake rates of waiting for something, anything to happen to with Luna so I can sell it and it and bring it even deeper and heavier. So, you know, we're all kind of sitting there. So there is something going on, and I think some of these guys are bad actors. Algorithm, and if you do that, I unbelievably, I might be able to get you more investors into this project just by virtue of this video being out there. So make sure that you hit the like. Okay, so let's look at let's take a, a long term view here, and, and let's just if we can agree right here. There's a there's a base floor here around four zero five. If we just consider that for a moment, that's been our floor. Where are we right now on what we're doing now? Of course. There's been capitulation after capitulation. We are in a trend that's probably going to break out. I should move this to here just a little bit. It's probably going to be extended. Just it, you know. And by the way, it, it's not for nothing that it's really coming to a head towards the end of this year when the market probably is going to have something of a, a takeoff. So um, let's remove some of the stuff we've done before and let's deep dive here. So I just want to take this time and show you from the the bottom to the top here. 400%. So if you got in at the bottom up here, you had a gain at one point of about 400%. Now in the secondary pump over here, that became 360%. Currently, we're up about 100%. So if you had bought um, Luna Classic at, at some point over the, the bottom dip in 2023, you're up a, a decent amount right now. So if I were to go over and check the Bitcoin, things like that from the same period of time, that's the kind of increase that you've got right now is so when people are crying to you and saying, well, you're not doing anything. Well, actually, you already did something. And some irresponsible people or some greedy people might have just been holding on and not taking the profit away or uh, not taking enough to bring enough to sell the top and buy at the bottom and accumulate more. Uh, most of the toddlers, if you will. So there's a lot of things. The important thing is if you do the same thing uh, from you know, October right here. And just you're just getting right to the bottom. So right here, put that over there, it's right now, 5% increase. So little plastic is up more than Bitcoin. 
until you've got people who are so uh, why are they complaining? Because they're not good. Good for Joe Real. Now, let's talk about the important thing. So, uh, this is the discussion. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but we're going to put those back in the stakers are required to lock up the amount of U.S. people along with long delegation to earn their full staking awards for the time doing this. Eligibility for full staking rewards. This encourages stakers to purchase USDC at a discount right now. Again, I told you I'm not really a fan of this being active in this concept, but the more I let it sit, the more I realized, you know, we've got to do something. So let's talk about this one. Uh, as the price of UST returns to the peg, in the event that you, you start to stake it, uh, stakers are no longer required to maintain the additional USTC balance to earn rewards, allowing them to freely sell those extra USTC at a profit. Uh, the community sets an initial peg price to a governance, uh, for example, two cents and incrementally increases it over time based on market conditions and community strength. No lockup duration or restrictions on USTC. Stakers can lock and unlock USTC at any time. By the way, a repeg in, in some ways is going to centralize this just a little bit. So um, and that's going to be because something or someone has to be in control in order to make sure that this is maintained. Now, the idea behind this is algorithmically uh, it's requiring the community to step up, but what if only one person says just something to think about? Community sets an initial price peg, no lockup duration or restrictions on USTC. Stakers can lock and unlock USTC at any time. USTC locking rate was dynamically adjusted based on the Oracle price of USTC, requiring an algorithm for adjustment. Stakers continue earning partial rewards even if locked USTC falls below the required ratio. So you still earn, you just don't get the, the maximum rewards. Mechanism if you will be governed by parameters that can easily be adjusted for community guidelines. By the way, it would be most probable that we'll set up something along the lines of um, you know you can automatically delegate to some extra in a wallet just in case. So some of these things set up for that to happen in their wallet, however. Uh, by involving the community and maintaining the tag, the plan ensures decentralization. Exactly not if one person does it. I was waiting for the other entity to do the same thing with the other new entity. By the way, even though I'm digging a hole in it, trying to get that proposal for assessing the true efficiency of the community, so initially, all this is for the tag, this is the real dollar tag, so it's just all in and in. But this is just to get it retaken to a specific amount. This doesn't discuss any of the burns that have happened, so let's consider before we report this, right? We're not talking about burning anything. We're talking about this. So go read this before you make a vote. And then connect your wallet and make a vote. I'll tell you how people are voting for that. They want unsolved allowance and precedent to vote yes. So if our interstellar allowance is last vote, I'm hoping to vote no. China, we need to be scheduled to know what that is. And then since our moon rapid validator is the very important that has changed. So now, let's talk about the project of the day. There's a so let's talk about the new one, uh, the new project of the day, and that project is called Air Force Lunk. Now, if you are, um, if you're a fan of gaming, and by the way, when I show you this, um, it's going to evoke. I think for for some of you who are older like myself, it's going to evoke a little bit of a memory because this thing is 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 incredible. But let's go look at a little game. All right, guys, this game right now. You know, falling. Uh, in the classic like tokens and time to uh it, it really looks something like nineteen forty two or nineteen forty five really nice to be old thing uh radius um galaga galactic there's a lot of different uh games that look like this back in old days as a matter of fact one of the big ones that I like is Space Hog. Now if you're interested in playing the game then there is a portal on Big Bang X dot IO uh you click on Air Force Look and that brings you over here to the Gmail access password setup. You need to play the demo and have a fun day if you want. Now, if you do that, then you're going to be able to earn pilot code. So, boost attack, you, you can buy a pilot code. Uh, I think they're going to be launching a pair of pilot code in early April, but that don't have a launch. And right now, we're still waiting to finish everything up. The game is still in that demo phase. Signals are going to and so you know, let's see how this goes, but that's a uh, go to big bang X that is a fantastic place for you to check out uh, NFT from a whole bunch of different there's NFTs from angels, mini dragons, real dragons, this crude LP, 
Battle Monthly. There's just plenty of different collections that are available to you. So remember your hub, bigbangtech.io for NFTs. Go check it out. If there's anything that you like, it's really fun. Even here today, the NFTs. Cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund, and they've processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We've created another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. Checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out Cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding. Not financial advice.